Oh, it is just electric. Nearly 500 runners taking off in the second annual Team Hoyt Memorial Yes You Can Run Together race. It's just the, the purpose of the Hoyt Foundation and that they're here to make sure that everybody has a chance. And yes, yes, we can. This year's race honors Boston sports hero Dick Hoyt and his son Rick, who he pushed in a wheelchair across thousands of finish lines, including 32 Boston marathons. It also honors Judy Hoyt, who passionately advocated for Rick and others with disabilities. And the reason why it's all three is Rick couldn't go to public school when he was young, and mom actually changed that first law that got him into public school. A teacher then asked him to run a race, which was a five mile race, which is why this race was five miles. And Rick came home and said, Dad, can I run the race? And he said the magic words, yes, you can. At the memorial race, those three words bring people of all ages and abilities together. Our mission is all about inclusion. We want everyone to have the opportunity to do what they're passionate about. People like Sean Bertrand and his daughter, Chloe, who have competed in several races together. Ordinary she wouldn't be able to even finish a 5K without it maybe taking well over an hour. Um, but this allows her to experience that feeling of finishing something really monumental and grand. The slogan on Chloe's custom made wheelchair is inspiring. Be somebody nobody thought you could be. It's just a, it's an appropriate um, sort of mantra for, for Chloe because, you know, looking at her, maybe some people might think that she's not capable of doing much, but she's done amazing things. And with each step these runners take, the memory of Judy, Dick, and Rick lives on. They broke the, the barriers for uh, all the people with uh, some disabilities and uh, paralysis and so it's uh, it's just a way way to honor them. There was also a two mile walk to show that together you really can do anything you set your mind to and that empowering motto yes you can brought everyone across the finish line. In Hopkinton, Brianna Borgie, WCVB News Center 5.